Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, first and foremost, shout out to the subscribers that keep me updated. Um, this story came from a subscriber in which they sent it to the email. And I seen this a couple days ago, but I've been a little busy, tied up doing things, you know. And I couldn't really get to it. But now we're going to get to it. We're going to talk about it because... I want to get y'all opinion on it, man. Um, I'm a little 50-50 on this because I just don't see how somebody could be this foolish to say things like this in an Instagram DM. So it's either they said it or CEO Bobby's Photoshop skills is just elite. You know, so I don't know, but at the end of the day, we're going to talk about it, man. We're going to get into these messages and I want to hear what y'all opinion is in the comments. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, it's lit here. So join one of the latest games on YouTube so you can stay updated on some of the realest content. Now let's get straight into it. Now. Your boy CEO Bobby, as we know, he's being pinned as one of the suspects in Young Dolph's murder, right? Now, CEO Bobby had an Instagram page prior to his most recent one that had about 14,000 followers. Now, for some odd reason, I don't know why, but his pages keeps getting deleted and he keeps making new ones. Now, I'm not the smartest man in the world. However, one must wonder out of everyone doing a whole bunch of foolishness all over social media, why does CEO Bobby pages out of everybody keep getting deleted? Now, prior to everyone realizing that the shop owner and his daughter's stories didn't add up, CEO Bobby and his other Instagram page went to tell us that Makita's cookie shop is who allegedly set Young Dolph up. But at that time, no one was paying the cookie shop any mind. All right. Now, also, before we get into all of this, this is for entertainment purposes only. Um yeah all this is alleged so you know y'all take what y'all want from it anyway fast forward now to november 28th ceo bobby took to instagram stories to expose makita uh, makita's cookie shop even more by posting screenshots of a conversation he allegedly had with them and in the messages which appeared to be makita's cookie shop's instagram you can hear them saying things like this quote so in a screenshot at 11.40 a.m., it seems that they sent CEO Bobby two photos, right? And after those two uh, photos, they said this, quote, Bobby, I promise you, if you expose us for what happened, we'll come for you and your family. Simple as that. Then you can see CEO Bobby responding. He said, you sell cookies. You shouldn't be talking to me. Go make them cookies because you got the wrong one. And then now it says, um, and another text from Makita's cookie shop. We removed cameras. We did you a favor. Now do us a favor. The inside footage is nowhere to be traced. We came prepared. All right. So then he went on to say this. Okay. So you saying what? Then Makita's cookie shop went on to say, keep me and my family business out the mix. Use your platform and tell them just make up anything. So they know we had nothing to do with it. I'll even give you money. We need this bad. Then they also said, plus nobody knew Dolph stashed here. Uh, that's why you think they broke in and went directly to the back. Pretty much, I don't know if they knew how to spell. It was very grammatically incorrect. Anyway, so those was pretty much the messages that was included in the screenshots that CEO Bobby took and posted to his stories. Now, I don't know how good CEO Bobby's Photoshop skills are, but judging from the screenshots here, either that's their Instagram or it's Photoshop. And one thing I must say though, I doubt anyone, at least I hope no one would be stupid enough to speak about a high profile murder on social media like this. I doubt that they're going to be that dumb. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? To even talk about something like this in the Instagram DM. So I'm a little iffy about this one. And y'all know how I feel about this case. At the end of the day, if it's anything that's going to pin them to it, I will always call it out. However, this one is a little fishy to me. I can't even lie. I can't even say that this is them. Yes, it's their avatar. Yes, it seems like it's their, their Instagram. But it just doesn't make sense. Logically. Now whether it's them or not i realize they mentioned the cameras from the cookie shop from the inside now 
If I'm not mistaken, I think they claim the surveillance wasn't on or something they forgot to do concerning the cameras that day, which is why, you know, surveillance footage wasn't released, right? Now that's already a red flag. The inside camera would in fact help a lot because it'll determine whether the daughter or the father stories was actually true. You know, the daughter said that the father um, was inside and then the father said he pulled up right after everything happened. All right. Now, it'll also determine how long Dolph was actually inside the cookie shop before everything transpired as well. And it'll also tell us if he was with someone or not. And it'll also tell us things such as where that guy, that mysterious guy with the dreads came from. You see what I'm saying? It's a whole bunch of things that I think that inside camera will tell us because it's actually pointing outside towards the parking lot. Then it'll tell us if Dolph was actually firing back or not because if you remember, one of the eyewitnesses said that he tried shooting back but we still have yet to hear about any gun being found on the scene that belonged to young Dolph. We still don't know where the mysterious guy with the dreads get that big old gun that he had from or where he even came from. You see what I'm saying? But the inside camera pointing outside of the store would tell us all of that. Oh, and by the way, after posting the screenshots of this conversation on November 28th, CEO Bobby's Instagram was once again deleted. So I don't know what's going on, y'all, with his pages being deleted or whatever the case may be, but that's a red flag within itself. Now, if you ask me if CEO Bobby did, uh, did this thing by himself and came up with this plan to kill young Dolph, I tell you, hell no. But I do think he's being used as a fall guy or a scapegoat and it's more to the story than they're actually telling us and some things are maybe being covered up. Now when people come in the comments saying, why do you think Makita's cookie shop has something to do with it? Or why do you keep accusing him? Listen, understand this. I'm personally not saying they are or may have anything to do with it. However, like I always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. The truth never ever changes and it stays the same 24 7. the problem with the cookie shop is that nothing is making sense and nothing is adding up and before they was even looked at as suspects or anything nobody paid them any mind until their stories did not add up and if they are lying what is the reason that they are lying about this man's death that's the only bottom that i want to get uh, get to why are they lying about their stories? Why don't their stories add up? And I'm going to do another video because uh, the son of the owner now, Maurice, uh, I think his name, Maurice something junior, right? He went and did an interview recently as well. And his story and the way he was he was responding, I'm telling y'all, man, something is shaky about it. But we're going to get into all that in the next video. You see what I'm saying? Now nobody's twisting their words or putting words in their mouth people are just giving feedback based on what they said themselves that's all y'all so um that's all i got for y'all today man do y'all think these screenshots are real um do y'all think somebody is even stupid enough to discuss a murder on social media i know that's probably a foolish question because as we've seen people like casanova and other celebrities get in trouble for doing drug deals and talking about murders on social media i know it's kind of common but i don't think they would do that in this instant i could be I don't know. I could be wrong, but y'all let me know y'all feel in the comments, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as y'all keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.